us is just carry on doing what we're doing. We'll have the corner, I think. Oh no, it's staying in, staying in. Headed away, only as far as Mish. To Toby! She's gonna have to come. Oh, he kicks it round, oh, that's a penalty for the game. Pedro fancies the shot. We've got goals to back and no time to lag. Up the tags. All right, guys, how you doing? Welcome back to another hashtag United match back in the league. And it is cold. We're talking zero degrees Celsius. I know there's probably some people watching in Canada who are like, hey, my mum's basement gets to minus 74, man. Well, guess what? I don't live in Canada. This is cold, OK? And most games in the UK, or a lot of games, certainly, that are played on grass have been called off. This is one of the benefits of playing on 4G. Not only is our game on, but I imagine the crowd will be a bit of a bumper crowd, maybe of people coming from other games that got called off. So that's why we like 4G. Let's talk about Canvey Island, the opposition. This is seventh versus eighth today in the league. They're one spot above us. Uh, whoever wins can stay on top of the other one. Both teams just outside the playoff spots. Obviously, we know Canvey pretty well. We were in the Ishmael North of them a few years ago. They went up through the playoffs. They've had one year at this division already. We've played them competitively three times and every time has ended in a defeat okay that doesn't make good reading but if you dig deeper it's got better every time we lost 4-0 which is one of the really poor defeats at the start of the 21-22 season but one of the good things about that game is we saw Harry Hayson really come into his own it's his first appearance for the club in the first team coming off the bench and he basically stayed in there ever since second game against them was later on in that season we lost that one as well 2-1 but the improvements were there to be seen and then we played them last year in the Essex Cup and that actually was one all. It went to penalties. They were a level above us at the time, and we lost it on penalties. So the gradual improvement is there. Statistics say today should be either a draw or a win for the tags, if that trend is going to continue. A couple notable absences, though. Evans Kwasi has been a big player for them for a number of years, scores a lot of their goals, is out for Canvey. That can only be a good thing for Hashtag. However, counterbalancing that, Harry Hayson, the man we talked about, who sort of broke into the first team versus Canvey a couple of years ago, is also out for us. He's suspended. Ended. He picked up yellow cards, which means he misses this game. So, really good defender for the tags out, really good attacker for Canvey out. I'd say that evens itself out. Obviously, considering the Hastings out and Greg Halford remains injured, we needed to dip into the transfer market to get ourselves a centre half. We've got a loan from our friends at Avely for a month. Jaden Randall comes in straight into the starting lineup today. He's going to play alongside Tom Anderson. But let's talk about the rest of the team. Devs is sending out to battle. In goal, Josh Shizovic, another man who's been on loan for us from Dagman and Redbridge for a month. He plays his last game today for the tags. We really do appreciate Shizovic, man of the match last game. Ted Kurd has returned now from international duty. He's on the bench. In defence, Matt Waldridge returns after missing last game through suspension. He's at right back. Nathan Smith at left back. And as mentioned, Tom Anderson and Jaden Randall at centre half. In centre midfield, we have Max Cornhill and PK Humble, with Misha Jamali starting just ahead of them, which means Toby Aromalaran returns to the starting lineup. Uh, on the right side of the three man attack. On the left is Pedro Carvalho, and up front is current top goal scorer for the season, Alex Teniola. On the bench, that leaves Saka San, Camilo Restrepo, Ryan Sammons, Ted Kurd, and Luke May Parrott. Up the tags. What we expect from there, I mean, could be uh, in terms of their formation, they kind of fluctuate between a, a, a diamond and, and a three. Whatever happens is the, the joy in terms of what we get will be in, in wide areas and being able to exploit those wide areas. And it's absolutely vital that we look to do that. And as our, our two wide boys, Tobes and Pedro, you don't just go and mark the fullbacks and do their job for them. Us, it's just carry on doing what we're doing at the moment. Carry on what we're doing, defend properly, head high, clear high. When we get into the opposing half, move the ball sharp, move it quickly. Don't slow things down. I'm excited about the opportunity that faces us today. Yeah, really good opportunity to go and, and perform well and get a win. Joe? Nah, let's go. Let's Come get on. going. Come on. And we're about to get underway here. Look at this attacking right wing approach from kickoff for the tags. Long ball straight to Teniola, wins the flick, but that goes out of play. Delighted to be joined by Greg Halford for this one. Not too delighted because obviously it means you're not on the pitch because you're injured, Greg. But how's things? Apart from the injury, everything's great. Um, looking forward to seeing what the lads can do today. For the eagle-eyed fans that really watched the pre-season videos closely may recognise Joe Paxman because he did do pre-season with us. Played quite a few games, scored a goal in one game, I believe. He's an ex-historic man. Salmon whips one in here. Matty needs to deal with it. I think he got a touch on it. It's a really good defensive header, that. Good positional from Matt, Matty. Corner's going to come in now. Salmon goes towards the front post, maybe looking for a clip. Cornhill clears it at the back. Pedro takes it down. Gives it to AT. 
to PK. PK careless with the touch there. Canvey linking up nicely here on the edge. Balls with Edwards. Back heel, nice. Chance for Munns to cross one in towards Sack. Calls for a handball from Canvey. Ref says no. Waldridge with the early throw. It's cleared, but only as far as Cornhill, who goes to Toby. Toby, can he get it onto his left foot? Cuts back onto his right. Oh, it's oh, crept in. Finish, it's crept in on the side what foot. What a finish. He's back in action and the bow is out. And Toby scores again. That is his fifth of the season. That's a great finish from Toby. Just a little cultured into the bottom corner. Didn't have to rip the leather off it either. Yeah, it didn't look like it was goal bound, but he obviously has enough accuracy on it. The keeper couldn't get across in time. And that's where if you get it in the corner, it doesn't matter how hard you hit it. Exactly. How has that gone in? I know it's a shot. Struzovic looking for Toby. Great leap from Toby. And Mish fix it on again. AT now. This is really good link up. Oh, come on then. Jamali on the right side. Wants to get it on that left. Does well. Strong. Toby takes it. Player's fallen over. Toby's got some time here to flick one in. It's going to come back to Matty. And we're going to get a corner, I think, for our troubles. Misha. Corner. It's a good area. Oh, Cornell oh. fried himself at it. Back in. Oh, Tomo. Oh. Salmon. Bit of pressure there. Oh, it's come off Toby there. Can PK get there? Keeper had to get off his line quick, and he did. Cornhill. Back to PK. Deals with it very well. AT. Nice AT. Brilliant. To the goal scorer, Toby. What can he do? Toby puts it in low. Gets a deflection. Goes right across the goal, and it's cleared by Ronto. If he was right-footed, he'd have loved it, because he'd have just kept it where it was and curled one in. But yeah. As a lefty. Go on, then. Wasn't there. That's a big mistake. Comes straight to AT here. What can he do? Brilliant pass for Toby. Touch and shoot, I think, Tobe. Get the shot off. He goes across the goal instead. Oh, that's the wrong decision. Too unselfish there, Grid. Yeah, it's the wrong decision, I think. Is it one of them where, from our angle, it looks more hittable than it is and it was actually quite wide? Or do you think he should have just tested the keeper? No, I think he should just test the keeper. Smith. AT, good flick. Mish now. He's one-on-one. -on -one. Oh, it's a cheeky little pass for Pedro. Is it the wrong idea, do you think? He has got more assists for the tags than he has goals, Toby. That's another great pass. Toby's getting in on every occasion. He's in the box Take again. AT's in there with him. Toby fizzes it across corner. Over to Crowhurst at right back. Still going forward here. Finds the substitute, Des Landers. Up against Nathan. Looks to cross it maybe on the left side. No. Back to the right back. Who gets it in a forward position here. Cross comes in early. Stree's good hands. Matty's on. There it is. Who wants it now? Nice little pass into AT. Toby will pick that up, maybe. Comes to PK. Lovely football from the tags. Can we get ever closer to the Canvey box? Nathan's going to whip one in here. Looking for Max Cornhill. So close. Arriving on that beautiful head. Pass in here to Paxman. Gets it back to Munns. Cornhill defending. Munns goes down. Nothing in it. Nathan needs to clear his lines because the substitute's picked it up. Can we get rid of it? Crikey, lads. Let's just get rid. Yeah, we'll have that. We'll have that. Max Cornhill. Looks for Toby. He's been very active in this first half. Finds Mish. Mish does well to get it to PK. PK just pokes it through to Pedro. And then Nathan gets it left back. Pedro is going to cross this in. Oh, it doesn't get away from Salmon, but PK is Good on the hunt. PK. Can he deliver? Goes oh, towards the back post for Toby. Hits it first oh, time. Toby. Toby does love it on the volley there. We've seen him do that before. We have. We have. Expected a little bit better there from Tobes. If he finds the target, it's not getting caught, that's for sure. You're getting a minimum of a corner, aren't you? Yeah, exactly. I thought it was a great ball. I thought it was a good ball as soon as he hit it. Salmon, the searching ball forward. And now they've got a bit of pace up there as they've put Deslandes up with Sack. It's a different, different option for them. Go on then, we can break, we can break. We've got the numbers. We've got four on Go three on. here. PK goes to Mish. 
Flag's going to come up. Oh, That's a real waste. Nice. Oh, my God. It wouldn't have counted. He's continued his pressure. He's got a chance to cross here. Goes in low. We'll have the corner, I think. Oh, no, staying in. Staying in. Headed away on as far as Mish. To Toby! Was there a touch on that? No. No touch. Just off target. Again, hit the target. You probably score. Yeah. He, he probably had a bit of time to take a touch and shoot. PK, just a bit careless with it, but Toby could pick this up. Potential foul from Paxman. Toby's still with the ball, though. So hard to get off it once he gets going. Toby into the box now. Oh, he's still going. There's just no one there to pick up the pieces. Matty clipping it into Pedro. Oh, he goes to Misha here. On the right foot, is it across? Oh, PK has two goes here. Yes! <laughs> there it is. PK with the goal on the left foot. He had two goes here, Greg. Got it on the second one. He did, yeah. Uh, great play from Matty, seeing the, the late run from Pedro. Good layoff from Pedro. And good pick out from Mish. PK with his third goal of the season there. The other two were in injury time against Enfield and Horsham, but he scored in the first half here. Dublin now lead, and the tag's looking good value for it as well. Finish that is, son. What a finish that is. Could we get our first win ever against Canvey? We've only played them three times. Yeah, the, the year they went up, they beat us 4-0 and 2-1. And then we lost on pens last year, didn't we, in the cup? And played them. It's harsh, that. Oh, good ball here. Chance on the edge. Come on! Off target. PK, he's actually leading them this year as well. Toes, is it? It's only a pre-assist. PK. To Toby. Can he get shot off of the right foot? It was on target. But defender got their first hashtag really cooking here. Mish. Looking to get it in low. Canvey not quite at the races thus far. Randall puts it in towards Toby. Jumps on, but he's offside. <laughs> and there's the half-time whistle. Really good first half for the tags. 2-0 up. Could be more. Dev's surely happy with that first half performance. Let's see what he says. You've got us into a fantastic position. With your energy and your hard work. It's been first class. <coughs> I've still moan about being in possession up and around their box. I think we've been too wasteful in our passing. I think when we've shown the quality and we've shown a, a care about it, we get chances and we get chances quite easy. It's been good. It's been solid. You deserve the second goal. It's been frustrating to come here at only one. You've heard that they're getting a rollick in there. There, there. there will be a reaction. At the very least, they'll come out and run harder on us. But, but as long as we start well and we stay focused, we're in a real good situation to control this game. No need to overcomplicate anything. Be effective. Just be good decision makers and be effective. And that will win us the game. Yeah, don't invite them back in. Back underway here for the second half. A 45 like the first half would be more than enough to see us through to three points here. As things stand, looking at the other scores in the league, we're up to six just outside the playoffs, if it stays as it is. Salmon, looking for a switch here. It's a good area. The right back getting forward. Good first touch as well. He's thinking about a shot. That won't trouble Striz. Striz's kick goes all the way through to Teniola. Munn's on the turn. He's offside, surely. No, Lionel says he's on. Strizz going to have to come. Oh, he kicks it round. Oh, that's a penalty. No, oh, wow. How's he not given a pen there? Greg, thoughts? I can only assume he's decided that he's not going to get the ball. And maybe Strizz didn't intentionally take him down. It was more of a coming together. Yeah. Bradley Sack is onside, despite the hashtag defence calling for an off. And that's good stuff. Oh, that's a lovely touch if you can get back on it, PK. That's good stuff. Mish to Pedro, onside. AT is the only one in the box, but he might have found him here. Oh, it didn't quite get past the defender. Yeah, and this Crowhurst is just playing the whole right side, basically. He's getting up a lot. We need to try and see if we can get Pedro in when he's out of position, yeah. but it's Canvey getting forward here. Chance to cross one in. Paxman. Plays it back to Munns, who's covering a lot of ground in there. Arrowsmith puts in the first time ball, looking for Sack. Wins his header. Ooh. Off target. 
over on the left now with Arrowsmith. Can we keep the ball well? But PK picks yeah, the pocket. PK. Now one can end, we go? Two on two. It's two on two, but there's players joining the defence. We need more offensive players getting up there as well. It's about five on five now, I think. PK looking for oh, Waldridge. Yeah, too He's lazy. Offside. Lads, two times we've had a really good break opportunity and we've been offside. Over to PK on the edge of the box here. Can he double his tally for the game? Pedro fancies the shot. Oh, I've seen worse Ooh. shots. The crowd thought it was in. The keeper's made a save in the follow-up. Wow, the net rippled, but I think it was just from the bar being vibrated so much. Great shot but there by uh, Pedro. Unlucky on, uh, unlucky for AT on the rebound. Yeah, Pedro's generated real power on that strike. Keeper could do nothing. But he's cannoned off the crossbar and then AT unable to score the follow-up. Big chance for the tags. Let's hope we don't regret that. Pedro, AT, well done! Oh, Bradley Sack might shoot here. He does. That's going to hurt a lot. In this temperature, doesn't matter where it hits you. But I think it might be in the unmentionables on his debut there. Canvey still on the ball. Fast feet from Deslandes. It's over to Hubble now. Salmon. Good pass into the box. Sack on the turn. Gets the shot off. Could easily have dropped in that bottom left corner, but it's wide. Salmon. Switched here to the right side with Crowhurst. He's going to cross one in. It's a good area. Aldridge clears. Mish takes it down, tries to get it to Pedro. Back with this right back who loves the cross. Here's Alban, just been subbed on. Ball towards the back post is decent. Randall heads away. Smith does too. Back to Alban. Crowhurst with another chance to cross in a good area. Cornhill. Canvey keeping the ball well here. Oh, almost worked there. Oh, if you're not going to book him, let us play on, ref. Striz. Looking for Toby here. Oh, you can take it down. He's, he's controlled it almost. It's, it's gone beyond him, but there's a slight call of a pull down against him. Smith, that's a good pass for Pedro. He's the wrong side of Crowhurst now. This is where we like to see Pedro running at people. Looks for Max in the box. Cornhill to PK on the edge. Gets the shot off. Corner. Better from the lads. He's called Mish there. Corner comes in low. Mish! Yeah, oh, that's yes, just please. that simple. Pedro to Mish. No, Goal. Everyone in the box runs in, leaves the one on the edge. Yeah, yeah, it's right. Exactly. They leave three players up. Everyone else is in the box. And Pedro finds Mish. 3 0. Yes! What a strike. No, I told him in there, I'd pulled him to the side just before we come out. It has to be an opportunity to get shot off from a corner, doesn't there? If you leave it. If I leave it for him. Yeah. yeah you but but you have to leave it. You have to leave it one touch. But he's in acres on the edge of the box. Oh, wow. Acrobatic flick there from Max. Albon on the ball. Just looking for a ball to the back stick. Oh, it's going to go off. Samo in front. Get to him, get to him. Good boy. This is the man that's going to break the lines in terms of pace. There's Landers on the ball here for Canvey. We'll, get, we'll take this now, let's go. let's go. Can you feed it to Toby? Oh, it's not a bad ball, you know. Toby could get there before the keeper. Does he shoot with the keeper off his line? On his left foot, he oh. does! It's off target. It's unlucky. Great ball from Mish. Fantastic ball. I wonder if there was a little lob attempt as it first bounced in front yeah. of Toby with the keeper off his line. Yeah. If it's in his right foot, I think he goes for it. Yeah. Salmon. It's not a bad ball, is it? be honest. Arrowsmith picks it up. Can he cross it in here? Oh, it's good footwork from the youngster. And there's the goal. And it's just that simple. Clean sheet is gone. 3-1.
really good work from the left back, you have to say. And despite going to the more defensive shape, we've conceded. It's enough time for them to feel like they could get back in this if we, if we fall apart. There we go. Time. Mish. Go on, run him. Passed his man so easily there, Mish. Toby's there. If he's onside, I think he stayed on. Can he shoot? Can he cross? Back to his right foot. Into Mish again. Oh, keepers just moved straight into it. It's good stuff, though. Yeah. We need to get the ball in and around there, holding midfielder's feet and just run off him. Can't move. From the front. Don't dangle. AT to PK. Can he get Luke in here? Couldn't quite see the angle. AT's on side for sure. Can he burst through or pass? He goes left foot. Oh. AT, you've got to get your head up. No rush for us now. We can take our time with it. That's nice. Lovely. Yeah, just make them do the running. Oh, Matty Waldridge finds AT. Back to Nathan. PK, lovely stuff. Oh, this is delightful to watch. Oh, hello. Oh, it's got to be a free kick. No. How is he not given a free kick? Alban plays it early. Randall's there. Samo's there as well. Oh, I think someone might have pulled up a bit there. No. Luke will chase this all day. Don't think he'll get there, though. Well, no, he might do. And that's the final whistle. And it is a really solid win here at home. Some fantastic play and some lovely goals. 3-1, the tags are victorious. Greg Halford, have you got a UFL player of the match for us? Yeah, a few good co candidates today, uh, but I'm going to go for Toby. I think he was our biggest threat today. Um, I think Max was very solid as well, but yeah, Tobes scored one, could have had a couple more. Yeah, fair play. Toby Aroma Laren, today's UFL player of the match, and I think the defence unlucky to concede a goal today. They barely let Canvey in at all, just that one chance, but the clean sheet does evade us. But the points don't, you can see on the league table, that puts us a little bit higher on the league, approaching the playoff spots. Go over to the Extra Channel if you want to watch the post-match team talk and find out what our player of the match made of today's game. Greg, thanks for joining me very much. Drop a like on the video if you've enjoyed it. Subscribe for more. Until next time, up the tags.